Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the short column and the long column. So in this lecture, I'm going to differentiate between these two type of uh, columns with the example as well. So the difference between these two, two, two columns can be categorized by a ratio which is specified by the Indian standard. And this ratio is that the effective length of the column that when the effective length of column divided by the least lateral dimension of column when this ratio when this ratio represented by r when this ratio is greater than the 12 then we call this type of the column is the long column or the slender column slender column or the long column and this ratio has been specified by the Indian standard slender or the long column but when this ratio are become less than the 12 then we call this type of the column as the short column this is the way how to categorize between the short column and the long column the, sh the long column generally fails by buckling while the short column generally fails by crushing the short column generally fails by crushing while the long column generally fails by buckling buckling now i will do example this is example and will show you that which type of column this exists either short column or long column now consider this is an example this is taken example this is a column given to us having the depth the total height of the column is six meter and the dimensions of the column is 0.3 meter and the other dimension is 0.2 meter so it's it's a rectangular column given to us and we want to find that whether it's a short column or long column according to the Indian standard which I discussed with you guys that they provided the ratio when this ratio is greater than 12 we call is the long column and this ratio less than 12 we call is the short column the ratio is the effective length of the column divided by the least literal dimension of the column the effective length of the column can be defined as that the length, the uh, con confliction length of the column is known as the effective length. Now, this length, consider this is a fixed in column. So, fixed in column means that it will deflect like in this way. Only short term of deflection here will be there. And this length is known as the effective length, represented by the LE now. And LE in, in this case is equal to the 0.5L. The total length of this column is L, L, so it will deflect only, the effective length will become, comes out to be 0.5L, this effective length. Where it changes the slope from one form to another form, so this length is known as the effective length, and effective length is 0.5 into L. So this is the length of the column total, it's given to us which is 6 meter, so first of all I will find the effective length of the column to put here the value of here. So the ratio is equal to the effective length of the column. So effective length is equal to the, here in my case, here it is, effective length divided by least literal dimension. The least one, B minimum I can call. So least means the minimum one. So the L is equal, effective length is equal to the 0.5 into L. So L comes out to be 0.5 into L is 6 meter. So effective length comes out to be when I multiply, it comes out to be 3 meters. So it means this length, effective length is 3 meters in this case. So now the ratio will become L is 3 meters. And the minimum lateral dimension or the least lateral dimension means that either this is the least one or either this is the least dimension of the column. So in this case, 0.2 meter is the least, least one. So these two will be cancelled. So 3 divided by the 2, it comes out to be 15. Hence, it is the ratio. There is no unit. So, 15. So, 15 is greater than the 12. So, now we can classify that it is greater than the 12. So, this is the short long column. So, this is the now long column. It can be categorized into the long column according to the Indian standard. Indian standard. So, this was the way how to define and how to differentiate between the short column and long column by one of the methods method you can remember this method and can use to differentiate between the two types of the column and i also show you with example that how to do how to solve the example uh, the how to solve the any type of 
problem. You can solve other type of example if they have different support condition because the effective length depends on the support condition. In case of the, when two ends are the fixed, we can define that the effective length is 0.5L. But when the two ends are different, then the effective length changes with the support conditions, with the end conditions. So you should remember all these end conditions and you should remember this formula, how to categorize the, uh, the short column and long column. Hope you guys understand the difference between these two types of the column. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.